Hi, my name is Todd, and today we're talking about work offsets on the Haas 3-axis milling machine. In our last video, we talked about the power-up restart, which finds the home position, or the 0, 0, 0 coordinates for the machine, and it uses the limit switches built into the machine. Once the machine has established its home position, you can press the Home G28 button, and it'll find its home location. It's important to note in the machine home position, you can't move in the positive x direction. The machine does not move. Or in the positive y direction. Again, the machine does not move. Therefore, all of the workspace coordinates relative to the machine home position are negative. In the home position of the machine, the machine is set up to have coordinates 0, 0, 0 on the face in the center of the spindle right here. It's inconvenient to use large negative numbers to program all of your programs from the home position. So we can use work offsets from here to program to our new work origin coordinates right here on the vise. Let's recall from SolidWorks and SurfCam that our red bar right here is positive x, our green bar is positive y, and our blue bar is positive z. Here in the lab, we've recorded another set of coordinates other than our G28, our home position. What we've done is we recorded right here on the top of the vise. This is what we call our G54 work offset. And right here is our new 0, 0, 0. Let's take a look at the machine to see how we set our work offsets. From the memory tab, you're going to click the offset button. You can see we have our G54 offset with our x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis coordinates. In the lab, we don't actually program with G54. We use our others, G55 through G59 offsets, when programming in SurfCam. The reason is we don't want to accidentally overwrite G54 because that's specially programmed. Let's talk about putting our stock in the machine. You want to make sure that you file off and have smooth edges on the side so the vise grips it properly. When putting your stock into the vise, you'll notice that you can just rest it on the bottom. But if you were to drill a hole all the way through, you'd actually hit the bottom part of the vise. So what we use instead are metal parallels, which have flat edges on the top and the bottom. You can put them into the vise just like this, and then rest your part on top of the parallels. Just like so. If you want to tighten the vise, you take the handle off and move it to the other hole. To make sure that the part is flat against the parallels, you can hit it with the hammer a couple times and tighten it one more time. We know our G54 offset for the machine is right here on this corner of the vise, but in SurfCam, we've programmed our origin for the part on this corner right here. So how do we move it from this corner to this corner? Well, that's the secret for work offsets, and you can do that in two moves. You can move in the positive Z up, and you can move in the positive X to the right. To measure your step in Z, take the calipers, and using the step function, just like so. Point seven zero one. We can record it on our part, 7, 0, 1. To get your measurement in the x, you can do the same with the step function. And this time, our value is 0.534. You can write that on your part so you don't forget. Let's talk about how to edit numbers in the machine. We'll use this space right here to demonstrate. If you want to add a number to that, for example, maybe 0 0.5 plus 0.5, you'll select 0 0.5 in the input box and then press right slash enter. And it's going to add it to the value that was there before. If you want to replace a value in this box, say you want to replace this 1.0 with 0 0.5, you can input 0 0.5 and then press the F1 button and it's going to replace that value with the positive value. Say, for example, 
that you want to replace this 0.5 value with a negative 0.6, you could input 0.6 and press F2 and it replaces the negative 0.6 value. Let's replace our x-axis value, negative 21.8139 F1. Now we'll toggle over to the y-axis, negative 2.3574 F1. And then the z-axis, negative 2.0 F1. Now to edit our z-axis work offset, we're going to highlight right here and add our 0 0.701, 0 0.701, and we're going to press the right slash enter button. Excellent. To change our x-axis offset, you'll scroll over to the x-axis spot right here. We want to make it move in the positive x-axis. So what we'll do is add 0 0.534 and then press right slash enter. Now you know how to put the stock in the machine and set the work offsets. Thanks for watching.